Hi everyone, this is a quick video on how to update the firmware on the Subharmonicon. Mo just released firmware version 1.1.0 and I'm going to do a brief walkthrough on how to do that. So first thing is when you download your files, you're going to get instructions in there. You're going to need to download the sysx librarian at least for me that's what i did on mac so i downloaded that and then that you're going to load these sysx files into the application right here and you have to do these in order first you're going to do the invalidate script and that will get the subharmonicon into a ready state just like that one position indicates that it's ready then you do the erase script and the LED moves to the second position and then you will do the third script which is the actual firmware and the lights will look like it's filling up It is now I actually ran into an issue where mine ended up getting stuck at that at that point and I'm actually speeding up right now in the video this progress bar um, but what I ended up having to do was I went on the subharmonicon Facebook group and found someone saying that you have to reduce the transmit speed because after I was done it just kept doing this indefinitely and it wouldn't stop doing this so if you go to preferences you can see transmit speed in the sysx librarian and I reduced mine by 70% and reran the whole thing and I ran all the scripts in order And that was successful and it only took about say three minutes and then the three lights there tell you it's it's successful and then you get the booting light show here that's it thank you so much for watching hope that helped